Right after me McDonald's one, I thought I'd do a second Kev on the Diet review. And then this one, say hello to Luna. She is uninterested. We have gone far and wide to find this place. There's two of them. One's in Rochester, one's in Canterbury. Not sure which one started it. But it's Square Peg Detroit Pizza. Now, the reason... I weren't going to review it, and then I opened up the box and I thought it'd be criminal not to. Have a look at this. Now tell me something else. And I didn't even want a bite of it until I showed whoever wants or what. So, it looks a bit mucky, but what I will do, if you can come down here, is uh, I'll lift up the base. And the base is it's charred. It's not like a normal pizza base. I think this is what the deep Detroit pizza is. I've seen it on um, Food Review Club. But now there's a, a few in Kent. So uh, we found one and thought we'd try it. So I'm going to put it apart now. I don't know if it's going to have the string pull. It's crispy on the bottom. Oh, look at the crackles on the knife. Absolutely stunning. It should have been a bit hotter. But let's have a go at this. But if you look in, it's like sourdough bread. It's not a typical pizza dough. Which means it'd be more fluffy to eat, surely. So, uh, Oh my days. First of all, a bit stuck in my teeth. First of all, the fluffiness of the actual dough base is phenomenal. It's not that either greasy bottom or intense, um, thick. Um, it is thick. How do I explain it? It's like the date pan is is just doughy. This is um very, very doughy. How do, it's not as dense. I think that's the best way to explain it. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have a bit of crust now. There's no wasted crust there. You ain't really, you ain't eating around the crust and leaving it, chucking it down. And there's no need for dips. This place here, which is, as far as I can tell, I've only got two shops down south. Is absolutely a winner. Now, have a good look at that, after I've just had one. Well, I don't know where that ended up, but basically, I've got to start again. With the taste of it, the outside is like crisp cheese. Sorry. I've travelled it just by consuming, consumption, whatever. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, this is Kent, Kent only. Don't know how long they've been going on. But I'm telling you now, that is a new age. You get no wasted crust, that bit you chuck away. It is phenomenal, it's full of flavour. I had to review that just because the guys that made it deserve to have a mention they've got two shops and I think they're going to go nationwide anyway I'll leave it there thank you very much what I'm fucking trying to shut the box here but yeah it's a pizza box with a pizza in it and it's a square pizza and finally 
it makes a square piece of box worthwhile, doesn't it? Because all the edges are finally filled in. All right, let me stop being a twat. Let me go back to actually being realist about it. Right. I've got this pizza, uh, which is a carnival. Nikki got a descendant. Descendant, which is a descendant of a pepperoni and basically got garlic mushroom. It's got all the sorts that you want on it. And then you get a side with it and you get two drinks, 35 quid. You cannot com complain. I can't stress enough how different that is to a normal pizza. With no wastage around the end, you want to eat all of it. Yeah, um, I bought a uh, Burger King sort of shares and things because I thought this pizza was going to be a piss poor, to be fair. Square peg Detroit pizza. Um, with the pizzas that are local, I don't like doing ratings, but that is worth rating. So everything else is normally average. That I'll give, I don't know, 8 out of 10. I don't know, maybe 9, I don't know. I don't do ratings. You can look at it, for, you can read it for yourself. So, Diet Kev has fucked it up again. But it was worth it. Thank you. Square Peg Detroit Pizza. And this time, it is over. See you later, guys.